Hi guys, this is Manas and welcome back to my channel and this is going to be yet another tutorial in the series of problems based on development of surfaces and this time around we'll be picking up a solid that's what you call a hexagonal prism okay and its development is going to be made under certain conditions so let's start with the problem itself it's going to be problem number two for prism development and it goes like this draw the development of lateral surface of part p of the hexagonal prism whose front view is shown in the figure below so this is the front view and it has been it is a part of a question in fact all right and this is something that you need to recreate in your drawing sheet and accordingly its development has to be made but before that let me show you as to how this hexagonal prism has been actually kept with respect to horizontal as well as vertical planes all right and it's something like this you can see this these are the four edges which can be seen from the front one two three and four one two three and four all right now the one question that you should ask yourself as to from which view you can see the true shape of the base now the true shape of this base over here please see the mouse hovering over this uh, these edges the true shape of the base can only be seen from the top and hence you have to begin by making the top view first all right and i'll be placing these arrows this is going to be for top view this is going to be for front view so let's start and let's start by initially drawing an xy line this is an xy line and below which i'll randomly make any point i'll start by making the top view okay and then i'll start to draw a reference line based on which i'm go i'm going to go 60 degrees in the anti clockwise sense okay and i'm going to draw a line 20 millimeter long line as the base edge has been given as 20 millimeters then from with respect to this baseline again i'm going to go clockwise change 60 degrees again and draw a line of 20 millimeters then go straight straight absolutely horizontal 20 millimeters let's write down the dimension also that's 20 millimeters for you so then from this point onwards 120 degrees here and 120 degrees here you're going to reach somewhere here or you can also do one more thing you can take this radius of 20 millimeter as an arc on your compass and then with this as center put an arc this as center put an arc both of them are going to intersect somewhere here and then you can join these points with the help of straight line something like this all right now there are six corners let's name them by one two three four five six something like this all right and uh, the next thing to do is to look at this hexagonal prism in fact uh, from the front this is how it would look and these are the points one dash this is going to be two dash six dash three dash five dash and four dash now we have this height of this hexagonal prism has been given as um, 40 millimeters and that's the height so we're going to go up stairs by an amount of 40 millimeters all right so this is what you call the front view okay there is a point here where both these cutting planes are meeting okay and the height of that point is in fact 20 millimeters something that has not been given in the question uh, but i'm telling you right now so you've got to place a point over here at a height of 20 millimeters and from this point i'll at an angle of 60 degrees in fact there is going to be this first cutting plane okay that's it fine now from this point onwards again at an angle of 30 degrees i'm going to put one more cutting plane so this angle over here is 30 degrees okay fine so guys these are the two cutting planes now let's get the details regarding the cutting points or the intersection points of the cutting plane with the edges vertical edges so this is going to be oh, there is one only one edge over here so this one edge is from one dash in fact so that's going to be a dash for you over here we have two edges one in the form of two other in the form of six so we're gonna have two points one b dash other c dash again we have this guy over here so there isn't an edge over here but unfortunately or fortunately these two cutting planes are meeting at a certain point that is at a height of 20 millimeters above this baseline okay or the reference line or x y line all right so they have to be given some respect in the form of some name so that's going to be d and e one at the front in the rectangular phase for two three and one at the back in the rectangular phase for five six i'll i'll show you in detail as to how these points can be transformed into the development all right let's move further we have this point over here for three dash and five dash so it's going to be f g and this over here now this cutting plane is intersecting the top it may appear as if there is a line over here but in reality we have a hexagon over here and that hexagon has been intersected by this cutting plane over here let's name them by h and i all right now since this whole thing is is a part of front view and hence uh, all the points have been accompanied with a dash all right now let's start with the development for that we'll draw a straight line so let's say that this is point one and the distance between point one and two is 20 point two and three is 20 and so on two three four five six we've reached here and then back to one back to one all right 
so 20 cross 6 is equal to 120 millimeters the whole length of this line works out as 120 millimeters then you need to go upstairs by an amount of 40 millimeters obviously let's do this and now let's start with the development so we have this a dash over here at a height of this much height all right uh, it is going to intersect if you, if you start to draw a line from here it's going to intersect over here and over here so above one we have a so this is going to be a and this is going to be a again all right let's work out b and c so let's draw a line well make sure right now you have your draft is absolutely horizontal if you have have your draft is absolutely horizontal then you're going to have absolutely no difficulty in making this so that's above 2 we have point b and above 6 we have point c so this is going to be 2 all right point b and this is going to be c all right now we're going to figure out this these two points d and e a bit later and right now let's worry about this f and g so this point f is going to be above 3 and this point g is going to be above 5 all right what is this this is f obviously and this over here is what g fine let's move ahead so we have this h and i but they are not intersecting any edge rather it is intersecting the hexagon itself so we have got to figure out exactly the position of intersection okay and for that what i'll do is i'll produce a line in the downward direction until it intersects this 5 4 line over here and this 3 4 line somewhere here watch this this is the intersection point and this is the intersection point so this is going to be h and this is going to be i all right now these two points h and i are not obtained at the base rather they are obtained at the top all right the top and base are similar to each other so we can take the arcs from here itself now from 4 to h you need to take in radius okay keep one leg of your compass here other leg of your compass over here from 4 to h towards 3 from 4 to h towards 3 you need to put an arc over something like this all right and this is going to be a point h obviously all right the same stuff has to be repeated once more again you need to take keep one leg of your compass here other leg over at i all right and then you need to take this as center then put an arc something like this and that's going to be point i for you all right so we have point h we have point i the only thing left is d and e now guys these two points d and e they don't lie on an edge rather they lie on a face all right and their positions can be figured out accurately i'll tell you how that can be done so it appears as if this line is exactly at the center of 2 3 phase and exactly at the center of 5 6 so from 2 3 and 5 6 and locating their midpoints we are going to draw two vertical lines something like this all right and d and e will start to draw a line from here exactly so this is going to be point d and this is going to be point e something like this i'll show you how d and that's point E for you. All right. So that's the overall development. And let's join all these points in proper sequence with the help of a straight line. So that's exactly how it looks on unfolding and flattening. All right. And finally, it should look something like this. All right. Fine. So guys, that was all from my side. If you have any doubts, queries, do write them down in the comment section below. I'll try to answer them. In the best possible way and as quickly as possible and if you think that this video has added value to your knowledge then do recommend this channel to some of your friends your classmates so that all of us can benefit so this is manas patnaik signing off take care have a great day and keep drawing